Hi everyone, Inat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we're going to use watercolors in three ways. Today we're going to work with stencil and this stencil that I have here has a negative and a positive part. Um, if you don't have that then you can simply trace the shape of the image on the stencil and cut it out and use that. We're also going to use some watercolor pencils that behave and react to water the same as watercolors and are really fun to work with. So I have here my brush and some water and I just want to start by creating the background for my page with a little bit of yellow and I'm keeping my image on the page because that's where I want the image to be but I want to leave this space uncolored just leave it white so I'm applying my watercolor around the, the stencil so under the stencil everything will stay simply white and like I said if you don't have this type of stencil then you can just cut out the stencil after you trace it on a piece of paper and simply use that as a mask so basically nothing will be under the area where you place your mask and you can leave it white like I did so I'm just applying a little bit of yellow it doesn't matter if the lines are not exactly accurate make sure you dry it before we move to the next step and now I want to use some distress inks distress inks also react with water and are a form of watercolor ink so to speak so I'm going to stamp a few patterns on my page and again I don't want to stamp on the area where my stencil is going to be so I repositioned the mask so I can stamp around it and as you can see I don't use an acrylic block I simply use the stamp and press it gently against the page just to get some of the pattern on the page now take your brush and with a little bit of water simply go over the stamp and since it's distress ink you see that it reacts to the water and you can simply smear it and turn it into sort of a watercolor effect so that's really cool so you make some of the stamp a little fuzzy a little smeared and that gives it a really cool look in the background so just do it on part of the stamps because some of it we want to leave in its original state and you always make sure that you dry it thoroughly because we don't want anything to smear now put your stencil back on and take your watercolor pencil and trace the image on your stencil now watercolor pencils also react with water but you have much more control when you use them because after all it is a pencil so you can draw and write and doodle and you still have a very crisp line now I want to go over the outline of my image and the fun part about watercolor pencil is the more you apply or the less you apply depends on the amount of water you use you'll get a different look if you apply a lot of the pencil then you'll still have a pencil look when you use the water but you can also apply your pencil very gently and then when you water it down with your brush you'll get that shading transparent look of a watercolor. So I'm now very lightly coloring with my pencil 
the image that I have. I'm using different shades of blue and you can see that I'm coloring the image very very lightly. I'm not pressing hard against the paper. I'm just very lightly coloring with the blue pencil and then you're going to see the effect when I go in with a wet brush. I'm using different colors of blue, different shades of blue because I want to create um, an ombre effect and I want the change of blue colors to show. So you're going to see how that works in just a second. So I started with darker blues on the left side and on the right side I'm applying very light blue. It's really a little bit hard to see but now that I'm going to go in with my wet brush you're going to see how that look. So take your brush, remove excess water and then very gently go over the pencil and you see that the pencil reacts with the water and you get a beautiful water effect. I want to show you up close. Now since we also have black there have to be very careful not to completely color everything with the black color and if you need to clean your brush so do that and you see all the blue pencil coming to life with my wet brush. And another good thing about using watercolor pencils is that if you want to add more color you simply dry the first layer and then you can go over it again with some more of your pencil. Once that's dry I'm going to go in and color some more. So it's basically like using a regular colored pencil but the fun part is that it reacts with water and then you can get that watercolor effect with much more control of where the lines and when your color goes. So I'm adding a lighter blue here on the right side and then I'm going to go in again with my wet brush and then you'll see. Look at that. Isn't that great? The water simply dissolves the pencil and then you get your color. And it works exactly like watercolor. You can blend them together. If you apply two different colors with the pencil, they will blend to a third color. It's exactly like watercolor, only with a different tool. So both the Distress Ink and the pencils work like watercolor and they are basically known as watercolor-like materials. So I'm blending the blues together and look at that. If you didn't know, you would think that I've colored everything with watercolors. And I also want to go over the black line to give it a little bit of a wash effect. Don't want it to look completely like a pencil. And you can decide if you want it bold or lighter. Just apply more of the pencil. If you want it bolder, if you want it lighter, then apply less of the pencil. So now I want to go in and add a little bit red to my background. So again, I have a red distress ink. And I'm just going to add very little red, just a little bit of color spots here and there. and go in with my brush and smudge some of them and then spread the red color around to mix with the other colors on my background. 
Don't be afraid to leave some of your page white. You don't always have to cover the entire page to create an art journal page. Leaving a white space is perfectly okay and actually it makes the parts that are covered with a pattern or a color or an image pop out more. You can also use the ink, the red ink or any other distress ink as a watercolor in itself. Simply collect some of the color, some of the ink with your brush and then use it on your page as a watercolor. Just adding a little bit of journaling inside my image. You can write whatever you want and or you can leave her empty. But I always like to add text to my art journal pages. And if you want to do that, you need your surface to be completely dry, otherwise your pen won't work on a wet surface. I also want to add a little title, Go With The Flow. That's sort of a word game because we are using watercolors and they flow sometimes, right? Okay, so this is our page. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects. Just a few more drops of ink and the page is ready. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.